so hey guys welcome to the new video today in this video we are going to see that how can you send emails using python we will be using a module named as smtp library which is a python based library so firstly let's move in our vs code and let's see that how this actually works okay vs code and then what you have to do is you will be selecting a folder which is a basic step and out there you will be creating a file you can name it as anything like i will be naming it app.py okay now what you have to do is you have to uh, import a module which we will be using in this particular video for sending emails this is an inbuilt module of python import smtp lib this is the module from then what you have to do is from email dot this one and then this one I will tell you the uh, meaning of each and every step just a second guys okay so this is for text part so firstly we have imported a library named as SMTP LIB uh, which will be used for sending emails and then for, for uh, for the email part, we have used email library where uh, we have used my, my module and set a multi part function you can say uh, which will be combining our multiple parts of the email like attachments to text and then for uh, typing text we have imported this particular text module out there so now what you have to do is you have to set your server but before setting our server, uh, you will be needing some like email credentials, uh, email, email configuration. Here I will be needing a sender email, sender email, which will be a uh, which will I you can say fill uh, lately. And then what you have to do is receiver email. RECI RECE receiver email and then I will set my password here okay and then what you have to do is you have to create the email now create the email content subject will be our test mail okay this one test mail and then you have to create a body section out there I will be leaving it as hello this is a test email from uh, sent from python okay now what you have to do is now you have to create a message variable message multipart this one and then from message from uh, sender email message to receiver email and then what you have to do is you have to define the message subject that will be our subject variable and then you simply have to attach this attach this text okay uh, attach this board text as plain text then uh, we will be using our gmail server okay so with this one since we are using smtp server of gmail that's why this will be smtp.gmail.com and this is our tls that is transmission layer you can see used for sending secure emails okay and then what you have to do is you have to start the server and then log in the server using email and password and what you have to do is then just simply send the mail send the email and you can just type out there as uh, email successfully sent okay we will, be, uh, we will be using outside this so save this with your uh, required configuration and I will run this okay uh, I will I will be telling you one thing that how can you uh, like directly not give your password instead you can use another password which will be set by you okay for that what you have to do is just simply go in your browser just a second okay and then go in your Google account and search for app passwords remember guys this option will only appear when you have turned on your then you have turned on your 
like you can see uh, two step verification then you have to go here and create a app password firstly give your app name like I will be uh, naming it as testing mails and then create a app password okay so I have got my password I will be just pasting it out here and then uh, I will be typing here sender email and receiver email and password give me a second I will do this so I have set my app password and and sender and receiver email now I will just run this python file and let, uh, let's wait for its execution so ok my email is successfully sent and you can see that our last line is getting executed and throwing no errors that means we are done and now what you have to do is just simply check your email box and uh, now you will must have received your email so that's it what we have to do is so now let's see you next time guys